Hi there and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer and this channel is called A Country Life and today it is a Tuesday and what is happening here is that it is about 10 minutes to 11. I've been wanting to pull out the camera all day long and do some vlogging. I mean, look at my shirt here. It says vlog all day. Really? I haven't even picked up the camera yet. Anyway, here's what's going down. I've been doing some laundry. Not a lot because I did three three loads yesterday. So I did get a load of laundry started. I think I mentioned this to you guys before, but one of the most important um, things to do to make sure that you're keeping up with your laundry is to simply just do it. Just first thing in the morning, set yourself a little goal that before you even check your phone that you get a load of laundry started, whatever that is, whether it's collecting the laundry or sorting it, you know, just give yourself some kind of little thing like that, little incentive. And that is what really keeps it going. So today I said, you know what, before I even check my phone, I had three loads of laundry from yesterday that needed to be put away. So I got all that put away right away this morning. And now I could start fresh with today's laundry. It is a rainy day. So Sam was out working on the marsh, but as soon as it started raining, which was about 45 minutes ago or so, he came in and so I have him and Joseph and Peter and Maria, they're all out cleaning the garage right now. I don't even want to go out there because as you can imagine, when you put four kids on a job like that, sometimes they get into a few little um, arguments. We'll just throw the word out there. They get into some arguments about it, who's doing more and what should happen and things like that. Um, what else is happening here today is that I'm going to start, I did just get out some meat. <clears throat> okay, so I did get out some meat here. I thought this actually said venison mini roasts. Peter was helping us right on these last fall. Um, it doesn't, it just says venison roast, but I'm going to let this thaw. I also got out the last teeny tiny little pack of venison steak we have here, just six little steaks. I'll let this thaw and I think I'm actually going to... Uh, cook these up to have like steak and eggs either maybe lunch tomorrow ish or maybe for a breakfast or something like that and then I also pulled out two packs of ground beef this is three pounds total and that I'm going to make into something kind of Mexican style the nice thing with Mexican style food guys is that you can pretty much doctor it up and turn it into anything if you want to stretch your meat, you can add rice to it or refried beans or chili beans or kidney beans or black beans or pinto, whatever it is that you like. You can add more onion to it if you like that, add more vegetables to it. You can turn it then into like a mixture for burritos or make soft shell or hard shell tacos. Uh, today I'm going to make what we just call super nachos. Uh, actually, I think the original recipe was called... Blue Ribbon State Fair Nachos. And it was just a recipe I found years ago in a quick cooking magazine. And I've just kind of been using that as my base for many, many years here. And I just add to it whatever I have. Sometimes if I have a can of corn, I'll add that. Some Today I actually have chili beans. So I'm gonna add these chili beans to it. I have two cans, so I might stretch it really far and add the second can. I'm gonna add in some of my homemade taco seasoning mix and um, no corn today. Let's see, what else? I think that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna make like a big pot. I hope it turns into a big pot of uh, taco-y nacho style meat that we can serve. I'm gonna get some chips. We do, I might take the kids to the library here, one of the little close libraries to us. Uh, so then I may just pick up, what am I doing here? So I may just pick up some chips at one of the little tiny like mercantile style grocery stores we have by us. And I think that's it. So Emily is going to be standing up in a wedding on this Saturday. Today's Tuesday and my iron broke. So after her wedding, um, I don't know, I just used it too much or something or maybe it was just time. I've had that iron for like 20 to 21 years, I think maybe a little longer. Was it a wedding present or did I get it shortly after our, we got married? I can't remember now. So anyway, I did have a company reach out to me and their brand is Acock. They have make all kinds of like household um, products. I mean, boy, I think they even make like some kitchen things and stuff like that. But anyway, lots of steamers and irons and things like that. So they had offered to send me a 1700 watt um, iron with, an attract with a retractable cord which I pulled it out of the box yesterday. It looks super cool. But 
with all that being said, since my iron had, my last iron had broke, what happened, it was kind of actually, I don't know if it's funny to you guys, but it was kind of funny because it had been working and working and working, right? And then Amber went to iron something and she's like, mom, the iron doesn't work. And I said, well, you have to press that little button. She's like, yeah, I know what I have to do. And um, I said, well, you, yeah, you can't walk away from it because it has an automatic shut off, right? And she's like, no, I'm pressing the button I wait 30 seconds and it's nothing is happening at all. It's not even getting a little bit warm. I said, oh, well, it must have completely uh, just burnt out basically. So I'm excited to be able to use this iron because I have to hem that dress. I guess that's the big roundabout story here is that since Emily's standing up in a wedding, I had offered to her that I would do the hemming of the dress and it's a chiffon layer. And so I had done a little YouTube search and I found a great tutorial on how to hem chiffon and so I needed an iron but I didn't have one so it was really exciting when this company said hey can we send you an iron you'll do a review for us and you get the iron iron for free so that's what I'm doing should I just show it to you guys real quick here it comes with a little uh, you know water pouring cup and then here's the iron I like that it comes to a nice point. That'll be good for, um, you know, like when you're trying to do collars and uh, get into those little corners of different clothing items and things. But And I also like the buttons are very, um, uh, I like that they're retractable. I don't know, my other one was just different. So technology has come a long way. And the other super cool thing about this one is that, can I show you guys one-handed here, is that it has a retractable cord. So you can hear it. Oops. Okay, did you hear it click there? So each click, it comes out a little bit further and further. And then when you're all done, you can just press this button here and it pulls it right in. So there's no cord to have to try to wind around and store up on a shelf or anything like that. As usual, I am starting with frozen meat for my taco meat that I'm making or my nacho meat, whatever you want to call it. So I have to say thanks to whoever gave me the tip way back in the community tab. Um, I was ha I had a video where I was trying to get the little bit of like waxy paper off the back of the hamburger. And I was cutting and cutting and tearing little bits and they're like, why don't you just put it in the microwave for a few, for like 30 seconds? It'll peel right off. So that's what I do now. You just heard the microwave beep. It's gonna be perfect. Voila, look at how easy, whoops, I missed a piece right here. Look at how easy that was. That was like 15 seconds of my life. lunch now we just had some chicken nuggets and what else do we have for lunch guys some apple slices I think that was basically it it was just kind of like that some milk and call it good and I was just getting the taco meat here put together or you know this nacho meat here that I'm making I put in the one can here of the chili beans and now this is my um, homemade taco seasoning and I'm gonna put in about four tablespoons of that in here and just stir it around. I'm just gonna let it sit here on low, um, real, real low on my smallest burner back there for the rest of the day. Just kind of let it simmering slowly so it's nice and hot and um, it should be really, really, really good. So Maria's just getting some socks on here, but 
She just had a birthday. Yesterday. Yesterday. And, and what'd you get? My sister Amber, she got me these socks. Uh huh. Show them to us. Let's see what's on those cute little socks. Um, unicorn narwhals. Wow, unicorn narwhals. That is quite the, uh, quite the sock, isn't it? Yeah. They are super cute. Mm -hmm. You're a lucky girl. What happened to your neck, Peter? I just saw you put a Band-Aid on. Can I see? What happened? Nothing. Well, did you run into something? Mm-mm. Oh, you don't want to tell me? Did you fall off the dirt bike? No. Maria scratched you? Oh. I was laying on the couch and Maria came over and... Oh, and Peter saw that I could on, get the... Oh, well, Peter the saw that I could get the toys in the Look box. At that finger no. She oh. Didn't. Peter saw that I could get the toys inside the little box perfectly. Yep. And make them fit. And P. And then Peter just smacked me out. And then I scratched him with his finger. Accident. That has see. to get. Did you guys clipped. say I'm sorry to each other? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That has to get clipped. Let's see. Look at that. She does have a really long fingernail. We should clip that before you scratch somebody else, okay? I wish that I could say that everything, all the library books are always where they're supposed to be, but I think sometimes people pick up books and they don't quite realize if it's actually a library book or if it is like a ex-library book because we get a lot of books from like library sales and then this is crossed out, but look at on the side, it still looks like a library book. So sometimes mistakes are made. And anyway, I have to look through this pile and see if I can find some library books that we actually are missing to take back to the library. Okay, so I changed my mind on the library thing, at least for the time being. It is about 20 after two and we were gonna head off to the library like you saw and I was looking for some books and I just, basically, I was just kind of fed up right it happens to us moms I was just mad that the bookcase has just turned into a complete pigsty and we can't find the library books even though we have a specific spot that they're supposed to go so everybody knows where library books are supposed to go and they just weren't there so I just said you know what this house has to be cleaned and I'm just gonna show you guys here is just real real and actually, the living room has actually already been cleaned. They consider that, that no. they cleaned it up. It was worse, way, way, way worse. So that has to be cleaned. Okay, we have remnants of birthday party fun right there. Food on the table, well, at least crumbs, more junk over there. All right, we have more stuff over here. So this is supposed to be the kitchen, but we've got art projects and papers and stuffed animals waiting to color I guess the glue all kinds of stuff laying over here here is supposed to be you, you guys see you're supposed to have pencils and crayons and stuff like that over here and it's starting to spill over everywhere that's you little lady you better get cleaning you know it that also yeah I'm just really showing it all to you guys here today this is considered picked up right now. Maria said she got it all cleaned up. That's interesting. Joe, what are you doing? Yeah, um, earth, uh, um, space. Earth and space? Yeah, earth, uh, um, hot planet. That's the hot planet? Yes. Do you know what hot, what the hot planet is? Is it, is it Mercury? Um, Yes, yes, dots. That's the dots. Nice. And you, you need to put that away and start cleaning yeah, up too. Because here's another area. They claim to be clean. He said, we cleaned it. We put everything away. I feel like their away is very, very different than this mama's away. So anyway, we changed our plans. And I said, we are not going to the library until things get cleaned up.
so it's very, very sad news from the garden. I stopped down there to get one of my heads of romaine. So I had planted four heads of romaine. So yeah. far we've eaten two. Shh, shh. So far right. we've eaten two of them. This. And the other two, I knew they were getting to the point I where I better it. pick them now. And so I pulled the one. I took a bunch of outer leaves off. And now, sadly inside it's like all rotten so i am going to pick through here i think i'm going to get some good lettuce off of here at least enough for tonight when we have our uh, nachos because i'd like to make mine as like a more of like a taco salad and then also the other bit of sad news down at the garden is that i also had four heads of iceberg lettuce and they were all just doing just so well this year and then all of a sudden they just rotted it was like they just all started rotting from the core or you know like the inside out and um yeah so that was it they're they're just gone there was nothing salvageable left on them which was really a bummer mm. yeah mm. are you eating some apples yeah chew with your mouth shut <laughs> We did, we have been getting a few cucumbers, not cucumbers like we have had in some year. You know, some years we've gotten just these long, gorgeous, gorgeous cucumbers. This year they've all been kind of like weird, misshapen. Um, some, of them, some of them have been even more just like a little ball. Anyway, I found three cucumbers down there, so we'll just eat those up fresh here, probably in just a couple minutes, right? As soon as you guys keep cleaning. Right. <laughs> Right. Keep cleaning. I'll cut them up while you guys are cleaning, okay? Can I have a whole one? Yes, you can have a whole one after you clean. Which one do you want? This one. Okay, set it aside. So that's how much I was able to salvage out of all of that over there. And um, But you know what? It's better than nothing, and I tried. So we're going to just keep on going here. I have to keep encouraging them to clean so that we can keep moving on with our day. Alrighty, so we are home from the library. I completely forgot to take my vlog camera with me, but last week, um, and I don't remember if I filmed that or not, but anyway, last week we went to the library and they had one of these, like, they had a little um, thing where if you took your uh, pillow or blanket and you went to the library and you read for 20 minutes, then your name was entered into a drawing. And anyway, we did that and Joseph actually won the drawings. I did want to give you guys a little look. So after I had my oh my gosh this house is a complete mess uh meltdown um we got everything cleaned i came through and i clean helped peter and joe clean up and we got their stuffed animals in here and they got like their toy guns under there we were able to get joe's new guitar that he got for his birthday just leaning in the corner my plan though is over on this wall is eventually i think that they might clean some of these pictures up but I want to get one of those little hooks where the guitar hangs in it I thought that would be nice for him to have here we didn't do much with all the trophies actually we didn't do anything we just cleared off any toys that were kind of like mixed up in there they had been playing maybe like hunting or something and they had a bunch of little toy animals tucked back in there so we did clean up that we just cleaned up the shelves down here um got everything you know organized again all their animals are actually in one bin and they have like their train pieces and cars and things in another one so they got their nerf gun and a little nerf football anyway we just kind of clean things up a little bit here as we're gonna have nachos so here's what it looks like blue ribbon beef nachos or blue ribbon state fair nachos something like that was the original recipe i will put that um, recipe in the description box below for you guys. Here is my garden lettuce. These are little um, Valentine variety, basically like cherry tomatoes off of my uh, patio plant. We have some hot sauce, a little sour cream. I just did a real rough chop on the black olives. Usually I take my time and cut them in cute little rings. Didn't do that. I just got out the chef knife and k -k -k chopped. We have four pieces of watermelon left here from last night's supper some cheese over here so that is going to be supper along with some uh, restaurant or whatever whatever these are some little tortilla chips
You like that color? Yeah. That's good. All right. Yeah. All right, go. Go practice hard. All right, so it's the beginner practice time right now. Joe's out there. Hi, Joe. All right, coming up in the blue on the right there, that's Sam. He actually, I think, is borrowing a friend's cruiser. That does not look like his bike. And there goes Peter practicing. Just a big night of practice here tonight. And what goes on while they're not practicing? <laughs> Looks like a little playtime. Oh, Maria ran off with her horse and barrel racer, right? What'd you find, Joe? Love it. A little rabbit? Yes. I love it. No. So this is not a spot that you guys see me very often. I don't get a whole lot of sewing done these days, but um, like I said, Emily is a bridesmaid in a wedding this weekend. It's just a few days away. It's 9.35 here. Everybody else has actually gone off to bed, or at least to their room. And so I have just kind of set up my little spot out here, getting ready to work on her dress. It's a really, really pretty dress. Here's a little glimpse of it. It's kind of got one of those like real high necklines, but then swoops down kind of, you know, across like the chest here. And then, um, you know, so it's kind of like a really nice, uh, kind of shows your shoulders a lot. And then in the back, um, it kind of does the same thing. It sort of like swoops in like that and then it has just a nice little clasp back there. Anyway, just a real pretty lace, and then has this pretty uh, gross grain um, uh, ribbon, and then it has all the sheer. And so I did already hem a while back. I hemmed this portion here. It's a little bit roughly because I don't have a serge machine, but it's going to be under the sheer. No one's ever even going to see it. And now I did watch a tutorial that was super helpful on how to hem shear. Actually, I watched a couple and I picked out the one I thought that was going to be the easiest. So that's what I'm going to tackle right now. And here we are back to the ACOC iron. I've mentioned to you guys already, but I think my favorite part is that it has this retractable cord. It does have a stopper, so when you get to the red marking, there it is, then you stop. See it right there in the, I don't know if the light is real good here this time of night. I didn't read the directions. I figured it would be intuitive enough, and it is. Okay, so we're just going to, I should make sure that you guys are seeing this. So here's the mark, right up here it's like a little bump right there and you just have to make sure that you have it set. I'm going to set this for synthetics and let this warm up. I see that my little and let it warm up. I see that my light came on and then it went off. I'm guessing that means that it is as hot as it needs to be. It feels just about right. I will put a link in the description box below if you would like to go to Amazon and check out the ACOC 1700 watt steam iron. I am finding it to work perfectly. Loving this iron so far. I love that it's uh, lightweight. I love that the cord is retractable and I really, really like the um, placement of the buttons on the handle as well. It's just all, it's just very intuitive and I'm really, really into it. So. Uh, definitely check this out and I don't think it's that expensive. I want to say it's around $29.99. Okay, so this is not a tutorial by any means. I will leave a link in the description box though over to the uh, YouTube video that I did watch that is the one that I'm actually following. <clears throat> but it's super, super easy. I just had to press the hem up 
um, less a half an inch than you know of what I really needed and now and then I sewed close to that um, seam line or not seam sorry sorry it's getting late <laughs> it's 10 o'clock now um, so then I just had to stitch close to my fold line now I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and I'm going to work all the way around um, just cutting that off real close to my stitching line so if I can find this dress has a slit which does add one more little little bit of challenge but I'll be able to manage this I think so now the goal is to get this cut off without you know snipping any fabric that you don't want snipped off You want to cut real close without this is going to pose a this is going to be a trick Alrighty guys, it is 11.05 and I think I'm going to bed. I'm not even going to pick all this stuff up. I'm just going to plug in my phone and then I'm going to head off to bed. I did get it done. Let's see, I just don't know if we have good enough light here, but here it is and it did pucker I think or not really pucker but it did pull a little bit but I think once the sheer dress is on and she's got the shoes and it's going like that as she walks I don't think it's even gonna be noticeable so I really like the tutorial if anything doesn't look perfect it's not because of the tutorial it's because of my skill level but anyway here we go this is gonna be the fun funnest Yes, at 11 o'clock I can say that. This is going to be the funnest part of the whole video right here. This little button right here, if you guys can see it there. I wish I had better light. There we go. That button right there, you press it. Are you guys ready? Voila. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Have a great night. Bye.